2016 Infiniti Q5 3.0 Ton Sport Tech Review. 6. Point. Infiniti's premium mid-sized saloon packs a serious punch, but lacks the dynamic prowess of European rivals. What is it? With the brains and brawn of Nissan behind it, Infiniti has always had the potential, on paper at least, to be a class-leading manufacturer. However, despite maintaining its presence in the UK for over eight years, Infiniti has categorically failed to make an impact in the premium car sector I mean, when was the last time you saw one in the wild? Exactly. Ultimately, Nissan's luxury sub-brand has long been in need of something special, a car to lure buyers away from the diverse range of accomplished, but in most cases, rather state European competitors. Something, Infiniti hopes, its new range topping Q5 3.0 tons will be able to achieve. On first inspection, things are off to a positive start, thanks to some handsome exterior styling. Granted, the gaping grille and swooping lines won't be to everyone's tastes, but next to our long-term BMW 3 Series and Audi A4 it's undoubtedly a striking design. And unlike previous Q5 S, it's no longer all show and no go. Under the bonnet sits an all-new 3.0-liter V6 twin-turbo engine, a motor belonging to the new VR family that replaces Nissan's highly regarded VX engine, as used by the 370Z, among others. With a new direct injection system and revised turbochargers, the high-output version, the Middle East gets a restricted unit, certainly doesn't want for power, delivering 395 bhp at 6400 rpm and 350 pounds foot of torque between 1,600-5,200 rpm. Our car's power is sent to the rear wheels, a four-wheel driver version is available, through a seven-speed automatic gearbox and Infiniti's direct adaptive steering system, its world first by wire fully electronic steering setup, now in its second generation, allegedly provides smoother and more responsive directional handling. What's it like? It doesn't take long to discover that Infiniti's all-new turbocharged six-cylinder is something truly special. Flex your right foot and with minimal lag from the turbos a solid surge of thrust rapidly emerges, overwhelming the rear tires at anything below 50 miles per hour. Consequently, we found ourselves using a gear higher than usual, reveling in the engine's prodigious levels of torque. That's not to say it won't rev when asked. If you can get it hooked up, made all the more difficult thanks to the absence of a proper limited slip differential, the V6 pulls strongly through the entirety of the rev range, building to a R35 GTR-like crescendo at 7000 RPM. It's a genuine monster of a power plant, and feels every bit as characterful as comparable offerings from BMW and Mercedes. That said, despite the impressive tractability of the engine, it's hard not to become frustrated with the hesitancy of the 7-speed gearbox. Left in standard mode it hunts around and shows a general reluctance to drop down when driving in town. Optional magnesium flappy paddles allow for greater control over the box, but even in Sport Plus shifts are slow and haphazard. The Q60S19IN alloy wheels and standard fit run flat tires contribute to a firmer ride than most of its rivals, but the digital dynamic suspension does a commendable job of taking the sting out of larger intrusions. Surprisingly, the chassis also improves as your speed increases, demonstrating good body control, a predictable balance and reasonable levels of adhesion. It's a setup that would be all the more enjoyable if not for Infiniti's newly revised DOS active steering setup. Essentially, the system removes the direct connection between steering wheel and steered axle for what its maker claims is smoother steering. However, smoother does not necessarily equal better, as we quickly found out. Regardless of the surface, be it pothole-ridden city streets or rutted B roads, the system provides virtually no feedback through the rim. Now, we admit, most electric steering systems currently on the market offer limited communication, but what sets the Infiniti unit apart as a truly flawed system is the changeable torque loads transmitted through the wheel. When driving fast, 
the mock feedback feels simply unpredictable and robs the driver of any real confidence. Not ideal in a range topping sports saloon. Should I buy one? The Q503.0 tons is a curious proposition. It has a characterful engine, an adjustable chassis and striking aesthetics. But, once again, Infiniti has managed to miss the mark. For a car approaching 50,000 pounds, the aging infotainment system, flimsy switchgear and lack of rear headroom looks embarrassingly poor next to the impeccable quality of the German contenders. And the hesitant transmission and needlessly complicated steering corrupt what is otherwise a dynamically composed car. We'd love to recommend it as a left-field alternative to the straight-laced German mainstream, but it would need to be a much better drive to get our vote. 2016 Infiniti Q503.0 Tons Sport Tech Location, Surrey, on sale, now, price, £45,970, engine, 6 sills, 2,997 cubic centimeters, petrol, power, 395 bhp at 6,400 rpm. Torque, 350 pounds foot at 1600 5,200 rpm. Gearbox, 7 speed automatic, curb weight, 1,813 kilograms, 0 to 62 miles per hour, 5.1 SECS, top speed, 155 miles per hour, economy, 31.0, combined, CO2 slash tax band, 206G slash KM, 37%. Rivals, BMW 340i M Sport Saloon, Mercedes AMG C43.